Hello, I'm Gavin and this is Genre Books. Today, a uh, book haul. Last week I went to the Tenterden Book Fair and I indulged myself. So I'm going to go through these with science fiction books first and then non-science fiction books after that. First pick, Arthur C. Clarke, The Songs of Distant Earth, uh, first edition hardback in mint condition. M. John Harrison's Light. It's come recommended, but I've not read any M. John Harrison. I do have another in the pile to get a look at as well, but I'm uh, looking forward to this one. One I have read before, but many years ago in, the, in my teenage years and um, probably due for a reread. So when I saw this for cheap, well, it was a no brainer, pick that one up. Robert Heinlein, Farmer in the Sky in Pan Books and says here that he is the undisputed king of science fiction for younger readers. And that's not been the experience of the Heinlein that I've read so far, but you know, let's try his younger reader fiction. In these bold colours, the uh, stories of Ray Bradbury. Volume 1. I'm happy about getting hold of this because I've got Volume 2 already in my shelves. A couple of books now from the Readers' Union. This is William John Watkins' The God Machine. And Michael G. Coney's Friends Come in Boxes. I don't know anything about either of these novels, um, although I've uh, read some Michael Coney uh, previously. Uh, so uh, again, new new ground for me. Then I found a stall that was selling uh, a number of the uh, Victor Galantz science fiction masterworks range, not the yellow jacket ones that are behind me, but the older style um, black spines. It really doesn't matter to me that much. What matters is I was able to fill in uh, a few bank blanks of the uh, of the collection. Jack Vance Inferio. James Blish, A Case of Conscience. As mentioned, another M. John Harrison. This is the Centauri device. Kate Wilhelm, Where, Where Late the Sweet Birds Sang. A book about cloning, as far as I know. Little bit tattier this one, but uh, one I was very keen to get my hands on. Uh, Keith Roberts Pavan, a uh, parallel um, alternate history where the Spanish Armada was victorious and what happens after. The Child Garden from Jeff Ryman. And then a bunch of dicks. A Maze of Death. The Simulacra, Now Wait for Last Year, and The Penultimate Truth. Now for the non-sci-fi picks, I found a couple of old Hodder and Stoughton Yellow Jacket Westerns, both by Clarence E. Mulford. Uh, the Bar 20 writes again, and Hopalong Cassidy takes cards. Some therefore ready for June, and June on the range. Arthur Conan Doyle's The Adventures of Gerard. I missed reading this on Roger's Cheap Old Book Club last year, so I want to catch up. Angela Davis, If They Come in the Morning, a book written by uh, well, a conglomerate of people um, about Angela Davis during her time in incarceration. Um, Obviously, the experience of the more militant side 
of the black liberation struggle in the United States. And um, there's a whole mix in here. Um, I think possibly the only book I have seen that is published by a firm of lawyers. And a real mix of uh, interviews, articles, uh, beginning with a essay uh, or an open letter to Angela Davies from James Baldwin. And if I had James Baldwin as one of the writers in my compilation, I'd start with him too. A Joseph Conrad novel that I've not read, The Secret Agent. I think I might wait if uh, Dr. November is running again this year. I'll have a read of that. Angela Carter. If I see an Angela Carter that I've not read um, in a in a store, I will pick that up. I also managed to pick up The Bride of Fu Manchu. Um, it's a reprint by Titan Books uh, of novels or stories from uh, 1931 or 1932 and uh, probably a Garb August read. The Fiends in the Furrows, a uh, folk horror um, anthology. Uh, modern writers. Um, one for the spooky time around October. And the final book I picked up at the fair was Blood and Thunder, Mid-Victorian Melodrama and Its Origins by Maurice Wilson Disher. Not an author I'd heard of. Uh, Frederick Muller Limited, not a publisher I've heard of. But I managed to talk the uh, seller down on price a little. And um, as well as being inscribed by the author, signed by the author rather, it is inscribed to Miss Hartnell. And uh, on a little bit of uh, investigation, Miss Hartnell, uh, I found out, was the editor, the book, one of the book editors at Macmillan for 30 years, uh, won prizes for her, national prizes for her poetry, and was the editor of the Oxford Companion to the Theatre, which is still seen as uh, something of a standard work. Um, additional niceties to this book was uh, it was enclosed with a letter from the author to Miss Hartnell and all the way through the book Miss Hartnell has helpfully added commentary elucidation references and occasional questions almost like she's marking his work uh, I think there's some corrections in there as well, which would be a nice um, overlay when it comes to reading this book. And finally, some stuff that I didn't pick up at the Tenterton Book Fair, but in fact picked up from Tesco's and their um, charity bookshop stall they have uh, at, the, uh, at the exit of the shop. Uh, some of these, I think, are definite Garb August candidates. The Judas Diary by W. Howard Baker. Jonathan Black, Ride the Golden Tiger. The Exorcist. And a May Gray story. And finally, one last thing. Ordered from eight books and turned up last night. Tanif Lee. The Birth Grave. I have the second and the third books in this series, but I didn't have the first, so I wanted to get hold of that. I've got to find room for all these in my shelves now, so bye.